You shouldn't cheat because it will give everybody involved PTSD. It'll give you PTSD. It'll give your girl PTSD. It'll be the girl. It'll give the girl that you cheated on your girl with PTSD. Full circle. Before we continue, we gotta break down what PTSD is. So PTSD actually stands for post traumatic stress disorder, right? So post traumatic stress disorder is a set of reactions that can occur after someone has been through a traumatic event. When we think about PTSD, the first thing we think about is soldiers who have seen war. Like, they've been to Iraq, they've been to Afghanistan, and they come back, and they have a hard time just adjusting to normal civilization. You feel me? It's kind of like even prisoners, dudes that's been to prison, when they actually become free, they have a hard time adjusting, going back to being a regular citizen because they've been through some traumatic experiences while they were locked up. So I'm, I know people are gonna be like, well, how does cheating give you PTSD? You know I love to break stuff down with a scenario. Let's say you and your girl been together for a while. Like my last video, um, she's not giving you what you want. You feel me? Y'all not having sex enough, and you, you just go out there and you get it for somebody else. The one thing I can say is if you getting away with it, if you got away with it once, you gonna do it again. If you got away with cheating once, you gonna do it again. It's gonna become to the point where you're going to be getting away with it, and you might be feeling yourself for a little bit, but eventually, in your mind, you're going to be like, yo, if I'm getting away with this, you got to be getting away with it too. There's no way I can be that good at cheating. So now you're going to start pushing all your guilt on her. you are going to start having arguments because certain things she do, you're going to be like, yo, nah, bro, I don't, I don't trust you. Because of how disloyal you are, you're not going to be able to trust her. She might not be doing nothing, but because you're just out here being disloyal and disrespectful, you're not going to be able to trust her. All right, so now you got PTSD. Let's say now your girl catches you. Your relationship is over. She's going to be a hard, she's going to have a hard time trusting the next man. Now she's going to put all her insecurities on the next man because you couldn't keep your dick in your pants. You messed it up for somebody else because you couldn't keep your thing in your pants. She running around, she might join the little the little crew of women that say, "Oh, man ain't shit." Flip side of that, the girl that you was cheating on your girl with I don't care what you what you, you you say. In order to successfully cheat, you have to be a liar. Shorty that you cheating on your girl with, she's going to look at you, lie to your girl to come chill with her. She's going to see the type of things that, that you saying to your girl or, or, you know what I'm saying, you might be with her and your, your girl might call you and you answer the phone and you just, all right, baby, I love you, ah, ah, ah. In the middle of doing what you do. I'm going to tell y'all a story, man. And because... I'm going to tell y'all a story. A couple years ago, man. Not even a couple years ago. This was a long time. This was a long time. I always, like, get upset that me and my me and my, my girl broke up. You know what I'm saying? But to be honest with you, when we broke up, that's when I, like, experienced a lot of stuff, bro. I used to work at this cookie place at a mall in Atlanta. Perimeter Mall. I used to work at the Great American Cookie. The year is 2011 or 2010. I think it's 2010. This is when we, like first broke up. I'm at the cookie place. Uh, this lady comes up with her husband. She had to have been, I think she was like 36. At the time, I'm like 20, 21. So she had to be like 36. So she comes with her husband. Initially, they came for one cookie. Then she seen the cookie cakes and she like did a little temper tantrum. But it was, you know what I'm saying? It was cute for him to get her the cookie cake. So he ended up getting her the cookie cake. He even carried a conversation with me. He was like, man, I love your accent, man. I could tell. Where, where you from? I'm like, shit, I'm from New York. And you know, he's like, oh, all the New York brothers is coming out here. You smooth. Like, he was joking with me and stuff like that. And, you know, it was cool. And she was even joking, too. She complimented me on my hair. She complimented me on, um, on my smile and stuff like that. But, you know, I didn't really think nothing of it. So they got the cookies. They left. And probably, like, a couple days later, she was at the mall by herself. So she came up to the cookie spot, and she came to get a pink lemonade. And while we get, while she getting a pink lemonade, she she drinking it. She took a sip, and she started. She's like, "Man, I just love these." So I smiled. I was like, "Yeah, a lot of people like them." Then we started talking, and she asked me. She's like, "Are hey, you from New York?" Right? I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Why you came out here?" And I told her I came out here for school. She's like, "Really? What you what you studying in school?" I'm like, "Graphic design." And she's like, "Really? How good are you?" I'm like, "Shoot, I'm." I'm decent, you know. So then she got to telling me about her, um, how she was trying to open a store and she needed somebody to do a logo. And she was like, would you be able to do the logo? I'm like, yeah, you know. That's pretty much what I'm going to school for. Doing a logo is, is part of the, the job or whatever. And she was like, okay, well, give me your number and we're going to keep in contact. So I gave her my number. She texted me her number. She's like, oh, this is, 
I'm finna say her name. <laughs> but she texted me her name with her number or whatever. And um, we started like, she, we started texting back and forth. But at first the texting was just about like the logo and the store and what type of store it was and everything like that. Crazy thing is bro, the store is still up. Logo is still on the freaking um, top of the store and everything like that. Anyway, we actually met up, right? I think we the first meetup was at the mall. She had came up there. I didn't have no car, nothing like that. She had came up there, and she actually dropped me home. But while we, again, we going home, we, we still talking about the logo, and we talking about the store. So based on the information that she gave me about the store and what she wanted, I had already did some sketches. She looked at the sketches, and she dropped me home. She took the sketches with her, and she was like, Yo, I see one that I like, and you know, I just want you to kind of tweak it a little bit. I was like, well, you know, you could actually just look at me while I tweak it. Cause you know I did I did the stuff with my computer. I was like, where do you want to meet at? Now mind you, I'm still in graphic designer mode. Like to me, it was like, yo, this I'm finna make a quick three hundred dollars. And she married, so I'm not even really gonna be on her like that. This lady came to my house. I'm gonna tell you right now, from the the age of twenty something to thirty something, it don't change. The I'm coming to get some some wee wee outfit is all the same. She came over there in some leggings and, and some, some boots, some fur boots. And you know what I'm saying? I was, the moment she walked through there, I was like, God damn. Anyway, man, I'm doing the logo and stuff like that. And, and you know, she's, sit, she's sitting right next to me. And we just, she talking, we vibes in and everything like that. I'm still doing the logo, we vibes in. Then she's like, oh, yo, you know what, man? I'm going to go get some, um, some liquor. So, red flag, I'm like. Liquor. Oh, I'm like, okay, that's cool. She's like, do you do you want anything? At the time, I wasn't up on liquor like that. Only thing I knew about was full local. So I was like, she give me a full local. She's like, okay. And now I got everything on the computer. I'm I'm coloring the logos and everything. Like she came back, she looked at it. and She's like, oh my god, you are so talented. And she put her hand on my back. I'm like, she getting a little touchy feely. We get to drinking. I actually finished the logo, and I was like, "Yo, you know, I'ma send you, I'ma send you the um, the PDF and everything like that." She's like, "Oh, don't worry about it. I see the logo and everything like that." Um, pulled out three hundred dollars in cash, gave it to me. I'm thinking it's over with, bro. I'm thinking it's 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 over. I'm thinking she about to leave. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got my money. She gonna get her. It wasn't these, man. It was I put her logo on a USB flash drive. We didn't, have, we didn't have these, or we had these, but they wasn't as popular. So I put her logo on a USB flash drive. I'm thinking it's over with. I'm thinking she's about to leave. This bitch got comfortable. Mind you, now, my, my house ain't had that much furniture or nothing like that. I had some outside chairs on the inside of my crib. She sat down. She's like, oh, well, you know, we can talk and this, that, and that. We get to talking. You know what I'm saying? We, we talking about her relationship. We talking about her husband. I'm telling her, like, you know, me and my girl broke up, and, you know, I'm... I was a little hurt about the situation, and she's like, "Well, why did y'all break up?" And I'm like, "Yo, I have no idea. I'm I'm just clueless to the fact." And she's like, "Well, what, what have you been doing?" I'm like, "To be honest, I've just been out here, you know, just just talking to people, just learning people, and this, that, and the third. And I'm not gonna lie, and that kind of shows you the type of person I am. I'm not gonna put it. I mean, she was wrong because she married, but of course, I was wrong too because I knew she was married. I met her husband. You feel me? Even though it was just for a brief moment when he came up to the store to buy the cookie cakes, I started seeing some some weaknesses. You feel what I'm saying? She she carrying conversation. She start talking. You know what I'm when people start talking too much, you start seeing holes in their armor. I mean, personally, she ain't even really had no armor like that when I look back at it. But you know, I started getting comfortable, so I started kind of poking that stuff. Started poking that stuff just to get a reaction. And eventually I got the reaction that I wanted and you know, stuff went down. Now, the end result of that is I started looking at women very differently during during that whole thing. I was already like upset that my girl broke up with me, but now I'm looking at joints and I'm like, yo, females ain't shit, bro. Like, this a grown ass woman and she married, son. Like, how the fuck she just gonna come over here and, and, and give me the box like that? But on top of that, 
The grimy part about the whole situation is the logo that I designed is like still on their place. It's like 10 years later, bro, and that logo is still on their shop. I don't know if I and her husband still together, but I'm I'm pretty sure they're still together, son. He ain't never gonna know. He ain't know who designed the logo anyway, so it, it's one of them situations where he ain't never gonna know, like, oh, yo, whatever, whatever, but that shit gave me PTSD, because, like, I just started looking at women real different, bro. I just like, yo, nah, it don't matter how old they are, like, they just gonna do you dirty, women is grimy. It, it kind of, like, it kind of pushed the the thought that I had in my mind already. And I'm telling you, man, cheating is not good. Cheating on your girl, cheating on your boyfriend, cheating on your wife, cheating on your husband, it's not good. And vice versa, if you freaking in a situation where you know somebody is taken and you still go out there and, and, and cheat with them, that's going to mess you up too. Because now you're just going to feel as though everybody is capable of cheating. And that that I, like that story I gave y'all was a a worst case scenario. I think that was probably the one of the worst ones. But it's been situations where I, I was with chicks that had boyfriends, and I'm in there doing what I'm doing, and they boyfriend call, and they'll answer the phone, and I'm still in them, and I'm listening to them like just I'm listening to them talk. She talking to this man like it's regular. Oh hey baby, I'm at Starbucks. Oh no 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 um. Look, do you want me to get you some Wendy's when, when I come home? I can get you some Wendy's on the way home. And this man's like, all right, babe, I'm going to see you. She hang the phone up and... <laughs> Tell y'all something, man. And and look, I'm not... Like, I, I'm not jabbing at women. I'm really jabbing at everybody because cheating is wrong for everybody. You just should not do it. This is really a part two of the the video I did when it said, Why do men cheat with attractive, unattractive women. And I was supposed to end the video by saying cheating is just wrong, period. But I didn't put that part in there because I wanted to do this video because I wanted to tell y'all that cheating will give you PTSD. I know I'm repeating myself, but cheating will give you PTSD. Do not do it. If you're in a situation that you don't like, just leave. Just leave. Out of respect for the person that you with, just leave. If they refuse to change their ways, just leave. You will feel better. You feel me? Like, now I'm married and shit, bro. Let me tell y'all something. That feeling of being in a situation where a woman might throw herself at you and you say, oh, no, nah, I'm good, I'm married, that's a good feeling. Because you know, like, to be honest with you, men are easy. We are very easy. You know what I'm saying? If 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 a chick throw us the pussy right now, we going to take it. A, a, a lot of us, we going we gonna to be like, man, sh Oh, we gonna think about taking it. On the flip side, there's women out here. If you throw her some some wood, she gonna be like, what, "What kind of what kind of girl you think I am?" Like, ain't none of us, ain't no man out here, ain't no chick out here gonna throw a man some 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 vagina and he gonna look at her like, "What kind? Of, you think I'm easy?" Ain't don't no nigga think like that. You feel me? So when you actually like shut that thing down and you be like, "No, no, no, I'm good. Y'all yeah, married." That's a good feeling. I'm trust me. That's a great feeling. Anyway, man, that's the video. I hope I was able to shed light on some situations. And I know the other video I did might have created a lot of enemies. But, you know, listen, ladies, I'm, on, I'm not picking and choosing sides. But I'm just being realistic. All right? I'm just being realistic. I hope you can, I hope you can respect that. Anyway, man, keep the fake mode on. I'm going to holler at y'all. Squad.